Rec uh, from Michigan is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I think the American people, certainly some well-intentioned members in this chamber, have legitimate concerns. They should be addressed. We should have time and education on what actually happens in the particular program of which we speak. And I'll pledge to each one of you today and give you my word that this fall, when we do the Intel authorization bill, we will uh, work to find additional privacy protections with this program that has no emails, no phone calls, no names, and no addresses. Fourteen federal judges have said, yes, this comports with the Constitution. Eight hundred cases around uh, between the 1979 case have affirmed the underpinnings of the legality of this case. Eight hundred. So 14 judges are wrong and 800 different cases are wrong. Uh, the, the legislators uh, on both intelligence committees, Republicans and Democrats, are all wrong. Why is it that people of both parties came together and looked at this program at a time when our nation is under siege by those individuals who want to bring violence to the shores of the United States? Because those who know it best support the program because we spend as much time on this to get it right, to make sure the oversight is right. No other program, no other program has the legislature, the judicial branch, and the executive branch doing oversight of a program like this. If we had this in the other agencies, we would not have problem. Problem, excuse me. And think about who we are in this body. Have, have 12 years gone by and our memories faded so badly we forgot what happened on September 11th? This bill turns off a very specific program. It doesn't stop so-called spying and other things that this has been alleged to do, because that's not, what ha it is not what's happening. It's not a surveillance bill. It's not monitoring. It doesn't do any of those things. What happened after September 11th that we didn't know on September 10th, and again, passing this amendment takes us back to September 10th. And afterward, we said, wow, there is a seam, a gap. Somebody leading up to the September 11th attacks a terrorist overseas called a terrorist living amongst us in the United States. And we missed it because we didn't have this capability. What if we had caught it? But the good news is we don't have to what if. It's not theoretical. Fifty-four times this and the other program stopped and thwarted terrorist attacks both here and in Europe, saving real lives. This isn't a game. This is real. It will have a real consequence. This is hard. Think of the people who came here before us in this great body. Madison, Lincoln, Kennedy served here. And the issues they dealt with and the politics of big and moving America forward while upholding the Article I mandate to this House that we must provide for the general defense of the United States. And think of those challenges. Think of those challenges that they met. Are we so small that we can only look at our Facebook likes today in this chamber, or are we going to stand up and find lives we can save? Let us get back to the big politics of protecting America and moving America forward. Soundly reject this amendment. Let's do this right on the, the Intel authorization bill. The gentleman from Florida reserves. For I, what pr I reserve my time.